Good morning, captains and first officers. Welcome to Flight Simulator Academy. Just bought my copy of Microsoft Simulator 2020 a couple days back, and I uh, would like to uh, complete this uh, flight training, learn to fly a Cessna 152 with you guys. Today we'll be doing lesson one, basic controls and cameras. So let's get started. In this training you will learn about the following, the uh, aileron number one, these are the flaps, uh, the rudder and the elevator. I don't think we'll be using flaps in this lesson. Morning, Jess. This session will get started with some basic controls. Sound good? First things first, let's get familiar with your surroundings. Don't worry, I've got the stick while you get your bearings. Out your side windows, you can see we have great visibility over Sedona today. Okay, on my side tech yoke on the uh, top left corner there's like a, a ball button like a ball so I can use it this to, is uh, red rock territory left beautiful isn't front it and right and next uh, she wants us to change our view using the arrow keys on the keyboard so we we'll try that So here you can see the instrument panels and uh, some other controls. You can also use your mouse to scroll uh, back and forth. Next, she wants us to use uh, the mouse right key to look around. So I'm holding down the right key on my mouse and I'm turning it to the right and left like that up and down so I can use my mouse to scroll in and out next uh, she wants us to save a custom camera by pressing ctrl alt and one so ctrl alt and so hold ctrl and alt first and then press one so uh, this angle will be saved so no matter where you are looking at you can always go back to that angle by pressing holding hold press the alt first and then press the number one see if you can spot the so Sedona airport to the, the runway angle. should be a pretty easy landmark to find yep the uh, airport is right here as you can see and it says hold E to focus on Sedona airport so press E and it doesn't do anything and when I first tried to play this uh, lesson, I was stuck for more than 50 minutes. So uh, press escape on your keyboard to go to this menu, go to controls, and click on keyboard. As you can see, oops, as you can see, I'm using the default setting. So uh, I don't understand why it's not correct, but it isn't. So uh, search key E. And what it does is to select an engine. And uh, what she wants us to do is actually the smart camera um, button. So uh, press the uh, toggle smart camera. The uh, correct button should be S. So uh, press S. Otherwise, you would get stuck just like me. Uh, I don't know, you might be in the air pressing the E button for an hour, you still get stuck, okay? So this is incorrect, hold E, so uh, press S. There you go, visual confirmation on the airport. Now that we're oriented, it's your turn. 
Time to fly this bird. The first control on our training list is the yoke. I still remember my first instructor saying the yoke is like a steering wheel. Almost. Sure, you can turn, but you can also pitch. For starters, it controls the ailerons. And the ailerons, they allow the plane to roll and bank into turns. Go ahead and try rolling to the right. So, uh, I don't think it's, uh, it works like a steering wheel. It looks like a steering wheel, but to turn it, you only turn it a little bit, just like that. If you do nice. it like turning a steering wheel, what it would do is... Now let's see you see? level back out. Not what you want. Okay, I almost died, uh, but uh, luckily I got it back. Good. Of course, the yoke also controls the elevator. And the elevator affects the plane's pitch, right? Pull back on the stick, the plane starts to climb. Give it a shot. things in aviation are speed and altitude. But notice, when you're pitching up, your speed is decreasing. You could add more power. Or for now, let's just pitch down. So this one is the airspeed indicator. When you pitch up, the airspeed decreases. If you pitch down, or actually what we do here, is to relax the back pressure. So we have been holding back on the yoke here. So if I just relax the pressure, just let go. The nose will pitch down. Just like that. Your speed will increase. picking up again as the nose pitches down. As you level back out, let's talk about another control. The rudder is at your feet. So the rudder in your feet. Rudder pedals control the aircraft's side to side movement, also known as yaw. On the ground, those pedals are going to steer the plane left or right. Up here, they properly align us during turns. Try them out and watch the plane's nose skew to either side. So on the real aircraft, you press the rudder pedal with your feet. You press left foot, you press here, or right foot, you press here, and then the aircraft will roll. So we will go to left or right. So uh, I'm going to show you. Try them out. Yes, I don't have plane's nose skew to either side. I don't have a rudder pedal with me. Um, so I'm going to use the keyboard, the zero key on the numpad. We go to the left and watch the pedals here as well. How they move, right? Okay, I'm going to press zero on the num key. Like Simple that. enough, right? Okay. I'm gonna press the enter key. Before we go on, let's bring the plane on back the right, to straight up flight. Make sure your dashboard enter. is aligned three to four inches below the horizon for a cruise attitude. Okay, the last thing we're gonna cover now is the throttle. If you have the need for speed, then the throttle's for you. Full control over the power output of the engine. Let's see what happens when you cut all the power. Okay, this uh, black lever here is the throttle. Surprise, surprise! Our altitude is decreasing. This might be a good time for a piloting PSA. Always keep an eye on your surroundings because nobody likes a low-flying duck. All right, let's go ahead and throttle back up. There you go, speed is increasing. 
increasing, and as long as we maintain the same attitude, our altitude will keep climbing too. You're really getting the hang of your controls. Before long, you won't even need a co-pilot. Until then, if you want help with the radio, or checklists, or simply flying the plane, I'll be here. You can pass me the controls when you're ready to finish your session, or keep flying. It is a great day after all. Okay, just before we end this lesson, uh, a recap of a few important vocabulary. So, uh, to change the view between the cockpit and outside, you press the end button, the END. So, a quick recap of what we have uh, gone through today. The yaw controls the bank by uh, turning the yoke left and right. And uh, controls the pitch by pulling it back or pushing it down. And the rudder pedal uh, controls the yaw. So, uh, I don't have the rudder pedal. So Use the keyboard zero and uh, the enter. Okay, hope you have enjoyed it. So I'm gonna pass control to Jess. So it says here to delegate aircraft control, press control out and X. So Jess, you have control. All right, I have control. Good job. Yeah, congratulations, uh, you survived this flight, so I think you can do the next one tomorrow. And uh, next next training flight would be Attitudes and Instruments, so we'll do it tomorrow. Uh, so I hope to see you then. Uh, please, uh, if you like this uh, video, please uh, leave me a comment, or if you have other suggestions, please leave me, leave me a comment as well. And uh, please like and share and subscribe. Thank you. See you next time.